I think they have an edge. I don't think they're going to, it's not going to be a landslide. It's not going to be a Gordon Campbell 77 seats, nothing like that. But I think it's going to be enough to give them, you know, the great thing is now it's just a two party race. I mean, I don't know if any Greens are jumping in, who knows? I, I don't know, but um, I think it's a two horse race. And I think, um, and that's so much easier. And I think that the uh, Conservatives are going to win enough seats to be the uh, governing party. The business community right across the board said, make up your minds. And now I think it's been made. It's done. Now you'll see the money rolling in. Everyone's saying, well, you know, the NDP have so much money. Well, they do. And they have a big machine. And we know that. And we know they have 33% of the vote. We know all of that. But I think now you're going to see money rolling into the Conservatives. And remember... But the cap is five million, right? Within the campaign. Okay, so once the writ's dropped, they can only spend up to five million dollars. Prior, they can spend what they want. I think you're going to see endorsements from large organizations. They're not going to say they support the BC Conservatives. They're going to say we need a different government that's free enterprise.